but now I want to start using the, I have fallen in love with um, VS Code and I want to start using VS Code and Git. So what we are going to do today, I want to show you how to use the Git, how to use the uh, actually uh, the Git and, uh, and the VS Code and also the Python. Let's get started. When you get into here, you see the git. And let me just uh, start from the scratch. And over the Google, type a search on git. The uh, uh, git official site and download for Windows or any other operating system you are using, and then download for Windows. Click here to download. Right, will be downloaded. Number two is VS Code. That VS Code, it is coming the first digital visual site. Then you go download for Windows, click on download for Windows, and it will be downloaded. And the last one is Python. Go to Python dot o r g and the official site is here click on download uh, not don't don't like just over 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 on uh, downloads and click on download for window if you are linux it will be like for Linux, if you are uh, Mac OS, it will be for uh, 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 Mac OS, and then download. And yes, those are three things that you need to have in order to get starting uh, web development using the light tools. You know, people say, ah, PyCharm is, is good and uh, but it is so heavy so what is there an option that you can use to develop the website with and uh, no matter the ram of the computer because Python, Python uh, maybe you need a core is five and a ram of eight to work well but now here you can use even the, the computer having a uh, two ram and then uh, Called duo and then you are you are, you are ready to go so therefore having uh, done so having actually uh, downloaded all those things that are required we can now uh, install them in the computer so I think installation of this is just uh, straightforward the trick is in Python in Python you must allow the path both the path if you don't allow the path uh, it will not work it will not work therefore check uh, make sure and ensure you have checked the two uh, checkbox there and before you install the python only that is what I want you to make uh, sure you did when it come to Python. Other, others are just straightforward. It is in uh, so next, 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 no outing anything. For example, let me give a good example for the VS Code. VS Code.
VS Code like this, you angry uh, license, and then next, 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 next. Nothing, nothing else. Now you are going to to alter, and then you start installing. Then the same case happened when it come to git. Git repository. Git. I download this one. Download this one. Uh -huh. Where it is? This one. Yeah, you just do the same. Yeah, it's just next, 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 next until you install. Next, 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 and then install the git in your computer. Then uh, I have already installed. That is how you go about it. Because the Python is already installed, I cannot show you right away yeah until i if i want to show you i can uninstall mine then i install again let me show you um uh to the control panel and uh i go to install the programs i i i want to uninstall i want to uh, uninstall and what I want to uninstall is called Python. I want to show you how Python is tricky when it you install it. You should stick the two. You should make the two checks are uh, uh, checked up. Taking some uh, quite uh, time. Most. Now, uh, let's close it. Now, let's go to where we have downloaded our our Python. Not Python, but Python. Python 3.102. You click to install. Now, look at this. Install Logger for all users this is uh, automatic but this one is not checked in so you have to check it before you install if you don't do that then it will be having a lot of uh, problem when it comes to configuring you, you will be asked every time to join python so when you do it like that you just come here you install now and Yes, setup was successful. You can now close and you are now ready to start web development using very light tools for almost every 
computer. Now, just your basics, yes, let's just show you how you can do it.